A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel the Twin Flame Union. In this channeling session I would be sharing with you some energy updates which are very much important in this journey. I would also be sharing with you certain facts that need to be worked out from the divine feminine side because the title of this channeling is that the divine masculine does not believe that she loves him the divine feminine and this is specifically for those people all those divine feminines who uh, have met the divine masculine and they have been in separation also they have been in no contact also but there are there is something which is stuck there is one specific block which is stuck maybe not one maybe it's a big block but there are many elements around it and the divine feminine hasn't yet figured it out that this is the specific reason why he is not able to come back to me he is scared to come back to me he is fearful of coming back to me though he really loves you a lot what i i'm getting from this energy is that the divine masculine loves the divine feminine so much so much that it's impossible for me to actually put it into words the amount of love the respect he had for her but it was her behavior that actually made him feel that she does not love him at all now a lot of the divine feminines actually blame the divine masculine they say that he was a really bad person who did them wrong who hurt them who manipulated them who left them for another woman who um some even say they cheated on him on her uh some say that he was a bad person he was this he was that like many things the title of this channeling is divine masculine thinks df is a heartless stone cold brood and this channeling has come up because the guides and the masters want to help specifically those divine feminines who have met the divine masculine had a very intense relationship with him where a lot of love messages were exchanged wherein he said to her that he loves her and that he belongs to her and this happened after many rounds of runner and chaser dynamic which means on and off on and off on and off on and off finally after many on and offs he came back and he said that i really love you and i have understood that by now there is no doubt in my mind that i love you at that point in time he got a clarity that he is in love with the divine feminine before that he was struggling whether he really loves her or not that's why the on and off was going on and she was she just wanted to be with the right man and she felt that he is the right man he is a very good guy he attracted her in ways that no one else had something about him was so amazing mysterious very pulling but he kept running away so she got very frustrated with that push and pull they had a long separation too but not the longest one even in the on and off situation you have many separations and some of those separations can be long separation too but then one fine day he got this feeling and he was very heartbroken after that he lost faith in love i get the energy that he was so shattered because of her behavior so shattered that he completely became 100% sure that she does not love him at all now the universe is also saying that this channeling is only meant for those divine feminines who have been in narcissistic family templates and they have had to struggle a lot 
to finally learn and realize that this template was the biggest reason why she could never go ahead in life why she was always stuck even if she tried many times she would keep coming back she would keep coming back she would keep coming back the divine masculine loves the divine feminine a lot she thinks that he doesn't love her he did her wrong he cheated on her he left her for another woman which is what she considers cheating by the way in this channeling through this channeling there are certain energy updates would be given to you which will reach to your dna just by listening listening intently the universe is also telling me that this channeling will be best resonating with those females who are very aware who have practiced awareness a lot they know very well when the energy goes down their energy when it goes up they know it they don't need to be taught about it now what happens is that they have had a conversation where he clearly says to her that i don't think i love you love me maybe you say that you love me maybe you tell me on my face that you love me maybe your words are like that but i don't feel that you love me i don't think that you love me i don't get the energy or the vibe that you love me energy may not be the word because he doesn't yet know about energy he will know in due course of time and you have already crossed over from that time the long separation has already happened so understand this channeling this channeling is taking you back in that wounded area where the divine masculine was extremely hurt by the divine feminine and he made up his mind that she is a heartless brute she doesn't give a damn about him she doesn't care about his feelings she is so mean to him she has said so many mean things to me he says that to the divine he has said it to god or when he was sitting alone in his room or in his space he had tears in his eyes he was so frustrated with her so upset with her i know there are many people who are doing channelings okay and i don't want to uh convince anyone because as i said that i do not want to be a people pleaser it has been many years in this journey i have spent a lot of time though there are some mean people who write many mean things to me and they also write the mean things to the dm poor dm i am very much pro to the divine masculines because when you heal yourself when you do the inner work you can see the other side and obviously i am coaching some of them too i you think that you are the only one who listens to these channelings no you are wrong there are many divine masculines who also listen it's just that they don't comment so much if they need a reading they need a inner work they will directly talk they will directly mail they will contact me and they have been doing that when they tell me their side of story they say that i love her and i still love her and i will always love her but i don't think she is ready so with this with this confusion he tells her this that i don't think that you love me i don't know why i feel that why don't you why don't you like make me feel you don't need these words you i don't want your words i don't want you to say you love me but your actions your behavior your body language and most importantly your tone the type of tone you use with me that is not a type of tone you use with the man you love you're so condescending you're always condescending me you're always putting me down you don't respect me you're always looking at faults in me always finding faults maybe in your heart you think i'm the right person for you and you really care for me but your behavior is not such and he is very heartbroken he has tears in his eyes he has cried over this but when he says this to her she doesn't take it seriously she says come on i love you what else you want me to do like you know in a very negative way what else you want me to do 
I'm doing everything for you, man. I love you. How else do I prove it to you? You are the one who's negative. You are the one who doesn't see my love. You are the one who's feeling like this. You you just maybe want to walk out of my life. You just you are just looking for an excuse or something like that. And I'm not saying that these are the exact words that are being used, but this is the energy that was used. Now. this channeling session or this channel this channel is about being authentic it's about authenticity it's about accepting the spade as a spade there are no rosy flowery words there is only truth i know there are a lot of channelers who give a lot of false hope i am not going to do that i'm sorry when there are energy updates there are all kinds of energy updates like i channel a person a divine masculine who got his awakening in the 16th century bc a lot of you have seen it when i received the channeling i felt the purity of his soul so deeply so deeply it was not it was something which was out of the world experience and immediately i created i produced the music for it because music also is healing therapy a lot of uh, dark entities a lot of reptilians aliens have been programming your mind via music also they have all these celebrities that you follow which you don't realize they are all reptilian entities they make these disgusting songs with a lot of subliminal messages a lot of subliminal words which you don't know because they are subliminals they are packaged in such a way that they actually deprogram uh, they program you they deprogram the loving aspects of you they shut it down basically and they plant the false idea of love and this is mostly in divine feminine's case because she is a emotional being and she gets very attracted to these things so in when i am making these songs when i am writing these songs with the lyrics they have all the correct subliminals they have all the correct elements that can heal you i had mentioned this in one of those videos which is called just be that before i i am now giving it to you after all these years what you are receiving from me is happening since 2016 i have been sharing in different areas even in my other channel which is a bit commercial which is more like uh which i don't take very seriously sometimes but when i shared the just be and the universe is a candy jar when i shared those two songs that time a lot of divine feminines had contacted me and in fact most of the views on that songs are by the twin flame community and then they also subscribe to the channel because though i didn't openly say that i am doing this for the twin flame community but they actually got the message those were very aware very highly advanced divine feminines so they got healed they got healed right in 2016 and 17 and 18 and by the time 18 came they already met the uh, masculine in a very intense love affair and you know they found the the thing that they were looking for so i was first healed i got these messages these channelings some of the channelings are pre recorded the one that i shared yesterday was recorded in the month of march the one that you heard where the divine feminine is proposed the no, sorry the divine masculine proposes to the divine feminine that was recorded 7 months back the song about this 16th century bc divine masculine who's who was a magical guy by the way this was done in 2000 2018 in the month of february and i had shared it in my other channel so at that time at that time few people got connected to it because most of them were healing the masculine template there were many people who got connected to other videos i made one on psilocybin cubensis which is magic mushrooms many people got connected to it then i made one on pedophilia ring that many people connected on it so people connect on it they resonate on it but they are also on the spiritual ascension journey they are doing the ascension journey but they are doing it more discreetly some of them are very discreet about it especially the masculines are very discreet about it they listen to the channelings they are here they contact me but they don't do it publicly the feminines they write the whole paragraphs the whole you know they pour their heart out and a lot of them are complaining most of them you know uh 
I'm not here to judge you or I'm not here to condescend anyone but you have to listen to the coach you have to sometimes listen to the channeler because the channeler is is connected directly to the higher domains they have done this type of work in all these years so if you really want to grow in this journey you have to surrender to them don't surrender to the specific person to the individual just surrender to the energy you have to surrender to the master you have to surrender to god you have to surrender to the to the source i am not the master by the way i am just a channeler i am just a medium but when you condescend the channelings or when you show lack of faith in the channelings then what happens is or you show lack of faith in the divine masculine because divine masculine needs your faith he needs your permission he needs your belief in the love if you don't believe in love if you don't believe in true love if you don't do that then how will you have a reunion how will you ascend in this journey